I guess it's time to get to work. I'm gonna put this bed up here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go get some work done. Hey, hey, Nate. Yes. Uh, uh, can you open the door for me? Oh no, I found this funnier. How's it funny? Because I put the wood right there in front of it, so you can't open it. Uh, well, okay. I guess I'll hang out in here, and you can do all the work by yourself. Come on, let's get to work. Oh man, it reeks in there. Don't go in there for like the next hour or so. I can imagine. Let's go. Time to go to work. What's on the agenda for today? A lot of fun stuff. Come on, get inside. Oh, you didn't get in your back seat. No, I didn't get my back seat. It doesn't have my name on it. It will soon. I'm working on it as fast as I can. You know the upholstery guys want a lot of money to put your name on the back seat. Oh, I'm sure. We could be spending on other things. I only want $500 for it. Oh, that's insane. Not worth it. That'd be the best $500 I ever spent. All right, so we're selling the wood that we harvested. Yep. Then we're going to go buy something new, and then we're going to go back to the house. It'll come up on up here. 15000 bucks. All right. Well, I mean, it's my favorite part of the day. Time to go to the dealership and buy something new. <sighs> Do you want your wheat or not? As long as we are moving toward that goal, and I'm seeing progress getting there, then okay. What else do you think we gotta come here for? We gotta come here to get a cedar. How else are we gonna get the stuff in the ground? Okay, I got it. Because we gotta choose between this Case IH cedar or this John Deere cedar. Case. Ooh, them fighting words. What was that? You heard me. You know how I feel about color green. I mean, we already got a red tractor. You gotta get one that matches. If you get the green, then everybody's gonna be like, hey, look, is it Christmas time yet? Red and green, red and green, red and green. Come on. Is that how you really feel? Yeah, that's how I feel. Don't cry in the corner. I could go with this yellow one. You know, yellow is my favorite color. JCB man here. So we need to go with the blue. Blue's my second favorite color. So we need to go with this two row green one right here. Now you're getting back to that green again. There you are, climbing on top of everything again. I'm a professional at climbing, okay? Well, we gotta do something else over here. We also need to get a sprayer. You sure we got enough money to buy a sprayer and a planter? The planter should only run us about 6000 The sprayer should run us about 4000 And then the chemicals, everything like that, should cost us about 2000 right there. Ruby doesn't have enough power to pull this one. Well, you're right, Ruby's not going to, but, but Chalmers will. Is that our only two options here? Well, you got this one over here, but I don't really like this option right here. Too many valves and gauges. I feel like you'll mess it up. Oh, you, you feel like I'll mess it up? Mm-hmm. So I think the best one to go with is the John Deere. So we'll get this little John Deere right here, and then we'll get the Case IH over here. And everything will be happy in the world. You go cry in the corner. Wait, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That's gonna go on Ruby though. Here we go again. Red, green, red, green, red, green. I don't care. I don't care. But I do. I drive. This Ruby. is gonna be cheap. This is gonna be cheaper. How you figure? This has a smaller boom width. This has a larger one. So you're looking at this is gonna be the cheaper one out of the two. I guess boom meaning the arms that stick out. Mm -hmm. What's also gonna get you is this one right here has very low ground clearance. So what's that gonna do when you have to drive it over the wheat? Or something like that. Well, it's going to knock out most of your wheat off top. This one over here has better ground clearance, so it's not going to do it as bad. All right. You're the professional. And don't you forget it. I'm going to go talk to the dealership, man. Let me guess. Go wait in the truck. Nah, you didn't. Oh, man, I am parched. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's a red switch back here. Boss never told me what that was for, but hey, is that the boss man? Oh, he's a funny looking dude. Oh! my goodness all right oh hey sir how's it going it's good to see you back again good to see you too sir how you been oh just another day in paradise i mean it's a lovely day out here in the middle of nowhere i can imagine okay uh i'm here to buy some equipment oh well well yeah i would hope so you want to come over here look at my good looks i mean that's great too what what you looking for well i'm looking at your john deere sprayer I and mean, i'm looking at your case ih cedar all right let me get over here and do and I'm uh, clickety clack of the keys like always and looking through here and uh, uh are you sure it was the John Deere? Because I'm not showing anything in inventory here. It was John Deere sprayer. No, I'm showing zero zilch a nothing. There is no John Deere sprayer in our inventory. Oh, well, I'm looking at one out here. Really? I okay, let, let's let's go look at that. I gotta see this. Hey, <laughs> look at there. There's a John Deere sprayer on the lot. <laughs> So, since you don't know about it, I gotta tell you, Solomon, you didn't know about it, okay, All right? Uh, well, no, hang, hang on. Oh, that's why. Okay, I see why it's not in the inventory. Oh, this was sold this morning, right before you got here. So, I mean, I could order you one, and we could probably have it here in a couple of days. How much is it gonna be to order one? Well, since it was kind of uh, our issue, uh, we'll just leave it at the, the normal sell price. I won't charge you any extra. Oh, wait. 
wait, wait. What was the other item you said you needed? The case I ate. Okay, yeah, this red monstrosity. Yep, okay, that one should be good. Let's let's go ahead and head on back in. You remember the model number on that thing? Not a clue. Well, you're in luck, because it's the only one we have. So, uh, it's going to run you 5,000 for that joker. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. What about the John Deere sprayer? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, the John Deere sprayer. Okay, so it looks like there is an ordering fee, but I'm going to override that because I didn't have it in the system saying that it was sold. Let's say $4,000. Yeah, that run me what? $9,000 9000 total? $9,000 total. That sounds good to me. All right, sir, here you go. Here's your check for $9,000. i am going to go ahead and get on out of here and get my stuff picked up, sir. We'll All see you right. later. Well, oh, ho, 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 hold up, hold up. We, we ain't up? done yet. I got to see some ID and verify this check and make sure it's all good. Let me you see know it's good. I've given you multiple. I don't care. Policy is policy. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Me... All right. So, hey, all right. So, there that is. And that matches that check. And all right. Well, I notice every time you come in here, you're like bringing in a load of wood. Then you come over here and you spend some money. So, uh, I'm assuming you're living from paycheck to paycheck. Kind of. Well, uh, hey, I know somebody that has a horse. And uh, they might be able to get rid of it. You know, I might be able to talk them down to doing something cheap. Is it just one horse? Like, is it a good horse? Is it calm? Is it tame? Like, give me more information. About it. Well, I mean, it's not my horse. It's actually my boss's horse. And he was mentioning that he was looking at selling the horse. But I mean, come on. It's got to be an amazing horse. I mean, my boss had the horse. How much does he want for the horse? I didn't ask that question. But if uh, you give me just a second, I can probably give him a call and see what he says. Yeah, do that. All right. Give me just a second. All right. Yeah. Hey, I got a good price for you. I was able to talk him down to 5K. That sounds perfect. Yeah. I'm no, I don't know what you have in your bank account. But I mean, hey, 5K is a pretty awesome deal, if you ask me. I deal. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Here's his number. And you give him a call and you can talk to him directly and get that taken care of. All right. I'll go ahead and give him a call. And then I'm going to tell him I'm leaving you the check for 5000 All right. That works. All right. There's that check. You keep that for him. He'll be here to pick it up. Give him a call real fast. Yep. Hello? Yes, sir. Want to buy it? Yep. Okay. I'll leave the check up here for him. Could you bring it by the farm uh, a little bit later today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Bye. All righty, Yosho's going to be so happy we're getting a pet horse. I can't wait and see what he says about getting a new horse. Yosho! Hey, yeah, what's what's up, man? Both of those over there only cost me nine grand. All right, that's awesome. You want to know even better news? I'm afraid. I got a horse. What? Why did you buy a horse? Because it was five grand. What are we going to do with a horse? I don't know. Something. I've already paid for it. We don't even have anywhere to put a horse. Yeah, well, that's the next part. I need to tell you, uh, we got to get back so we can build a fence, and we also need to cut down some more wood because it's probably gonna cost us about another five thousand to build a fence and a pen i'm never gonna get my bakery with you you want to know the better news what horses eat wheat it's a backseat ride are you that mad at me don't don't talk to me don't call me don't come by my house we're done are you mad at me yeah why i ain't do nothing wrong they're gonna be the horse is gonna eat my wheat that i need to make bread i mean there, there's a way we, we can still do it we're good i'm still waiting for this whole silage stuff that you said is gonna make us some money i'm I, I still don't see how rotten grass i mean come on and now we got a horse yeah. no no not talking well we're already back here at the farm so you talked all the way back here to the farm see i can't even with you listen we have a lot of great equipment here and i think we can sustain a horse but this means we need a baler we need of course a horse paddock i mean we need a saddle we need all kind of good stuff a trailer to haul the horse around a water tanker to get water for the horse maybe you need to pay some people to come out here and dig a well for us why why what it's a five thousand dollar horse it's a great deal and then all the other stuff on... oh boy well it's only five thousand dollars for the horse i just claimed the house it's mine <laughs> why do you claim the house it's my house now you can go live with the horse get out of the house come on open no. the door Yosha, get out of my house no this is my house get now you can go live with the horse house. i know i do not want to live with the horse get out of my house so you should have thought about that before you decided to buy one we got work needs to be done okay it's time we get this thing up we're going you need to mow some more i'm gonna make this grass pasture we have over here into a field because we need more killable acres oh wait before we do that we even gotta go pick up the equipment come on get on the tractor let's go Whew. 
He's mad about that. Can't wait until he finds out I want to buy a cow. Pull on in here. Thank you. Yeah, this needs to be hooked up to this tractor. Hey, yo, show, hurry up. You're being slow. That man just annoying me now. Hey, Nate. Yes. What am I going to spray with? They didn't fill it up before you left? No. I'd go back up there and get them filled up if you could. They filled mine up before I left. Hey, yo, show, you know this is going to be a pretty big field. Are we wanting just to plant nothing but wheat this first time? Since we have a horse now, we're probably going to need it because they're probably going to eat an entire crop. So we're going to get rid of the bread and we're just going to do horse. Got it. No, we're still doing bread. Your horse will starve before I don't get my bread that's animal cruelty hello hey there uh nate i just uh gave you a quick call because i realized that you guys took off with the sprayer if you remember i told you we were gonna have to order that thing the customer came up here looking for a sprayer and it's not here uh i completely forgot about, i didn't grab no sprayer i grabbed my planter did somebody else i know you normally have a fellow that uh sits in the truck uh, did maybe he go and get the sprayer for you well he's heading back up that direction anyway if he, if he grabbed it by mistake, go ahead and take it off of him and deliver our sprayer as quickly as you can. All right, will do. Like I said, it'd take a couple of days for us to get it out here. And I'll, I'll give you a call when it gets in, okay? Okay. Hey, yo, show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? You on the way back with that sprayer? No, I just pulled up. Okay, good. Well, you gotta leave that sprayer there. We don't own that one. We had a custom order ours. All right, well, let me drop this thing off then. Well, while you're out there, do me a favor. Pick up some more seed. What am I gonna carry it with? Hold it with one hand and hope you make it you're a funny guy you know that i take myself as a little bit of a comedian what are you trying to do um hey just just leave me alone man I'm, I'm trying to put this on my tractor because i don't have anything to carry this on yeah but that's crazy i mean like your tractor's gonna get overheated and it's gonna cause the bag to crack open how, how did you get the keys of the fort lift anyway do you think you just like can grab whatever you want if you got an issue with that come see me i'm about that Big trust. Woo woo. Well, you know, whenever you got a buddy like mine that's pretty persistent, you do what you gotta do. Thanks for letting me borrow everything, and uh, here's the money. See you later. Bye. All right, just got done cultivating this field right here. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm actually gonna start planting both these fields. Go ahead and lay that down right there. Perfect. We've started the seeding process of these, both these fields, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around both these fields really fast and get everything knocked out as fast as I can. That's Yosho up there. Yeah, that looks like Yosho with something way on in front of his head. Yosho, you on the radio? Yeah. Is that you coming from up there? Yeah. So you do know how to load up the seat. Needless to say, I think I made the uh, store owner guy mad. Please don't tell me you drove all the way here in reverse. Yep, the only way I could see. How's that bag not crushing the front of that hood? Um, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Why don't you do me a favor? Wait for me to go around one more time. We need to put some of that seat in here. We ain't picking this thing off this hood. We can push it off. We're putting... Uh, uh, wheat down right here, right? Yeah, putting wheat in both fields. All right, we need to get up underneath them. He hove it up, okay? There's no way. We can't do that. Yeah, we can. Let's go. Ah, yes. go. Ah, yeah, come on. Ah, there we go. We got it up here. I guess it's going to ride right there. Hey, yo, show what you doing? I'm cutting some grass. You need to be cutting trees. Thought we were cutting grass. Well, you need to cut the trees first because the horse is going to be in a couple hours. Then why are you planting? Somebody's going to go ahead and get planted. You need to be cutting trees so we can get the the paddock set up for the horse. Didn't you just say a few minutes ago that we need to cut grass too? Yeah, we need to do everything all at once. Well, that's what I'm doing. One step at a time. No, nope. trees should have been the first step. Ah, right, there we go. One foot down. Hey, look, you can cut trees and I can keep cutting grass. Okay. 
Uh, I guess that's my favorite time to do stuff. Got to make me a stick of wonders. Now it's time to start cutting down trees. That's thirteen thousand so dollars. That's enough money to build up that pasture. But while I'm up here, I also need to get a watering thing. So I need to look and see if they got some waters up here. We'll pull on into here and see if they got any water trailers and see if they got any like small balers or not. All right, so I just spent seven thousand dollars on this baler right here. This new hollow one be perfect. Yosha's gonna love that. And then also. So for the horse, I had to buy this water tanker right here. It was not that bad of a deal, I don't think. And we got everything hooked up, lined up, and ready to go. So we're going to pick this back on to the farm. Hey, yo, show you on the radio? Yeah. Why you sound distressed? Um, I was just about to radio you. What'd you do now? Well, uh, I'm out of diesel. Oh, uh, Lord. Thank Lord. Okay. I got diesel in the back in a barrel, so I can bring you some. Uh, I mean, it, it still said that we had fuel, and then whenever it died, I tapped on it, and then the gauge fell down into the... Empty. Ah, it's not good. Well, I'm on my way right now. I'm about halfway there. I'll see you when they get there. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I've had better. I imagine. I was just about done, too. Let me get a toolbox. Here we go. All right, put it in here. We're we'll going to get it. Ah, right, there you go. Are you not going to say nothing about our new purchases? You got you a nice train going on here. Sorry, I was so fixated on the tractor over here. Are you making grass or hay bales? Yeah, it's our baler. And then we had to get a water tanker. I just, no, I, I don't want to know. I'm just going to go back to cutting my grass. All right, you go back to cutting your grass. All righty, so I need to come back here. We'll get some guys to come out here real fast and build us our new little horse paddock out right about here. All right, let's get our horse in here. It's cute little guy. Come on here, look at it. No. What? You paid five grand for a baby horse? To be fair, I didn't know it was a baby horse. Oh no, he's a good little sucker. Cute, energetic. I see nothing but problems. How is this problems? I mean, we don't even have a decent dinner ourselves and we gotta sit here and feed a horse now? Ah, we, I've been having a great dinner. I had steak and eggs last night. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. I don't know about you, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. We worked a long day. Oh, again, spunky out there. Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. You watch them first.